Hey designers, let's create this building split effect in After Effects. There will be no plugin that we will use. It is going to be a very beginner friendly tutorial. So let's get started. Take a new composition and name it Building Split. Here, you will need to import the video first. Make sure that the video you are importing has very little movement in it. This is the video I am going to be using. I will also provide this video link in the description, so if you want to use it for practice, drag and drop it onto the timeline. Once you play the video, you will see that it is a very slow close-up, and there is not much movement. It is good for practice. First, we need to save the first frame as a picture because we will be removing the top area of the building. Position your bar indicator on the first frame, go to Composition, select Save Frame As, and save it. Open Photoshop and remove the upper area of the building from the saved frame. Now that the upper area of the building has been removed in Photoshop, let's import that picture back into After Effects. Import it, drag and drop it onto the timeline, and we can toggle its visibility to see that the building's top part is removed. Next, select the main video and rename it to Original to avoid confusion later. Make a duplicate of it by pressing Ctrl plus D on the keyboard, hide the eye of the original layer, and rename the duplicated layer to lower portion. Select the edited picture and lower its opacity so that the upper portion, which has been hidden in the picture, becomes visible. OK, now select this lower portion layer. With this layer selected, we are going to make a selection of this part of the building using the pen tool. Ensure the layer is selected so that the shape we create acts as a mask on top of it. Precisely select the area of the building, about half of it, like this. Once you have your selection, duplicate this lower portion by pressing Ctrl plus D on the keyboard and rename it to Upper Portion. Move the picture layer below these Upper Portion and Lower Portion layers. Select the Upper Portion layer. Notice that the mask we applied on the Lower Portion is already applied here. The top of the Lower Portion will now act as the base of the Upper Portion, and we will move the base of the Lower Portion upwards to reveal the building above. So, let's move the base shape of the lower portion upwards so that the building above becomes visible. Precisely adjust the shape on top of the building to create the perfect mask. If more anchor points are needed, click on the pen tool to access the add vertex tool. Select it and add more anchor points for a precise selection of the building. Now, adjust these vertex points to refine the mask. Precisely adjust the shape on top of the building to create the perfect mask. Let's add more vertex points here and adjust them at the corners of the building. Continue adjusting the vertex points to refine the mask. And done.
let's preview the building to ensure the selection is good. Now that we have masked both the upper and lower portions, you can check this by turning off the eye icon to ensure the masking is done nicely. Increase the opacity of the building back to 100%. Select the upper portion layer and go to Layer New Null Object to create a new null object. Rename this null object to Upper Null. Let's give both the upper portion and upper null layers a red color to easily identify them as related. Parent the upper portion to upper null. Next, select the lower portion layer and create a new null object for it by going to Layer New Null Object. Rename this null object to Lower Null. Give both the lower portion and lower null layers a green color and parent the lower portion to Lower Null. Now, let's animate the upper null. Move a few frames forward in the timeline. Select upper null, press P for position and shift plus R for rotation. Click on the stopwatch next to both position and rotation to create key frames. Move a few frames forward in the timeline again, then move upper null all the way to the top and adjust its rotation. Fine tune the rotation to make it look good. Now, position your bar indicator on the point where the last keyframes are. At this point, we need to create a shape below the building because the hollow area doesn't look good. Make sure no layer is selected. Use the pen tool to draw a shape under the building to fill in the hollow area. Once the shape is drawn, give it a red color for consistency and place it below the upper portion layer in the timeline. Finally, parent this new shape layer to the upper null to ensure it moves along with the upper portion during the animation. Okay, to hide the shape layer while the building is not moving and to avoid it looking weird, we need to apply a mat to it. Start by duplicating the shape layer by pressing Ctrl plus D on the keyboard. Rename this duplicate layer to Mat1 and remove any null options. Remove the parent of this layer to None. Next, select the original shape layer, Shape Layer 1. In the Track Mat options, select Mat 1 and make it inverted by clicking on the Invert icon. Now the shape will be hidden when the building is not moving. Preview the animation to ensure it looks correct. At the 2 second mark, the lower portion will also move. Position the bar indicator at the 2.2 second mark and select Lower Null. Press R for rotation and Shift plus P for position. Click the stopwatch for both position and rotation to create key frames. Move a few frames forward in the timeline, then move the lower null to the top and adjust its rotation. Select both green layers, lower portion and lower null, and put them above all other layers. Now, at this point, we need to create a shape below the lower portion of the building, similar to what we did earlier. Ensure no layer is selected and the bar indicator is on the second keyframe. Use the pen tool to draw a shape below the lower portion. Give it a green color and place it below the lower portion layer. Parent the shape layer to lower null.
To hide the shape layer when the building is resting, duplicate the shape layer by pressing Ctrl plus D, rename it to Mat 2. Remove the parent of this layer to None. Then, select the original shape layer and set its track mat option to Mat 2, making it inverted. This will hide the shape layer when the building is at rest. Preview the animation to ensure everything looks good. Now, this is happening on the building picture that we had cropped, which is why the video has no movement right now. The picture is above the video. To adjust this, select the building picture and use the pen tool to draw on the building to create a mask. Once you've done this, turn on the eye of the original layer. Zoom in and, when you play the video, you'll see the building is stationary while the video moves. We need to adjust it. You'll see that we need to animate the position and scale of the building to match the video's movement. Select the picture, press P for position, and click on the stopwatch next to position. Play the video, and you'll notice that the video is moving. We need to adjust the building's position to match the video's movement. As you play the video, adjust the building's position and scale to ensure it aligns with the video. Press Shift plus S for scale and increase the scale where necessary. At points where the position adjustment isn't enough, scale up the building slightly to match the video. Keep adjusting the position and scale until the end of the video to maintain consistency. Once the position and scale adjustments are done, preview the animation to check for any glitches. If it looks good, let's further animate the lower and upper portions of the building. Select both the upper and lower portions and press U to see their keyframes. At this point, they should be stationary at the top. Move the bar indicator to the 4 second mark where they will start moving downwards. Add a blank keyframe here. Move the keyframes a few frames forward and individually adjust the positions. First, set the rotation of the lower portion to zero. Move it back to rest on the building. Then, move a few frames forward and do the same for the upper portion. Set its rotation to zero and position it back on the building. Once these adjustments are done, your animation is complete. Thank you so much for watching. If you found this video helpful, please like, comment, and subscribe to Ace Designs.